Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to enable power saving mode and explain all of its settings for Android 13. So in order to enable power saving we'll need to move to our settings. There's a few other ways to do it but the, that's the simplest one. So here in the settings find the battery and battery saver. You can enable it like that and now it's dis enabled or disabled with the uh, default settings also we can change a few of the settings right here and they give a different outcome to your battery saving and on some of the devices this might be a bit different even if they have uh, the same android uh, version right here i'm using google pixel 6 pro but uh, let me show you another way, quick way to enable power saving mode and right here scroll down your notification bar you'll need to scroll down again then move to the next step and right here you should find battery saver if it's not here you can always press on this pen button and then add or remove the icons so now let's click on it and that way we, we, will, we will also enable our battery saver if you hold your finger onto this button, you should always also uh, be moved to the battery saving settings. So now let's go back and see uh, what we've got in uh, other battery savings in uh, settings. There's the usage, adaptive preferences, battery share, battery percentage. So let's enable that because uh, that's very useful to have and doesn't take a lot of space. But um, we'll, we, we will mainly focus on uh, battery saving. So let's click on that and uh, here's the settings. So set a schedule right here. You'll be able to schedule on uh, when to enable the battery saving automatically. So you can use it based on routine. Routine battery saver turns on if your battery is likely to run out before your next typical charge based on percentage. And that way you'll be able to manually pick percentage on when this battery power saving mode starts automatically. So that's very handy if you just care for your battery and doesn't want to uh, make it run to zero. So next to schedule there's a turn off when charged and if you enable it and your battery reaches 90% it will turn off battery saving automatically. Extreme battery saver. So right here you can enable it and it will um, limit things uh, visible on your device and uh, restrict some of the users on it like ser services and uh, um, some apps but it will significantly increase your battery uh, time so extend your battery life further in critical moments extreme battery saver pauses most apps and notifications select your essential apps so you don't miss important notifications or messages so we can set it out to when to use it, ask every time, always use, or ask uh, or never use. So just uh, pick it however you want. There's some essential apps which you can add right here and uh, then uh, they will be visible while in this mode, but it will also uh, limit this mode a bit. So ex extreme battery saver turns off some features that use more battery like Wi-Fi, hotspot, some network connections, certain features like Hey Google and background activity. So let's go through my, my Google just turned on my device. Nice. Okay. Um, so uh, the Wi-Fi might be limited. It won't probably work while in this mode. Your mobile hotspot will also turn off. So if you're giving your internet to other devices, they might turn off. Some network connections uh, like uh, probably Google Photos or uh, uh, any apps that connect to the cloud might be turned off. Hey Google will be turned off and background activity. So some games, if you're playing any, might be uh, disabled while being in this mode also. So that's basically it for this and here's also information what a normal battery saver does and it turns on the dark mode. So if you're using um, light version, light theme on your device, your screen is usually white. 
if any you enable this mode it will turn it to the dark mode and uh, it will limit or turn off background activity so all the cloud or uh, apps working in the background may, may stop working some visual effects so probably if you have like screen transitions all kinds of like the stuff like that will be turned off certain features and some network connections it's not specified which certain certain features and it probably depends on what device you'll be using but uh, you'll know uh, eventually what turns off and some network connections so that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below